Tinubu again defeats Atiku and Obi at the Supreme Court and awarded two million Naira fine. Now, the Labour Party and PDP had taken the APC presidential candidates, you know, to court challenging the eligibility of the presidential candidate and his vice presidential candidate that the process that produced the vice presidential candidate, that's Shetima, who is now the um, vice president-elect, did not follow a, the due process, did not follow electoral process, did not follow the provision of the electoral law. And for that reason, they were asking the courts to nullify the election on that ground and sack the duo. But of course, the court dismissed the suit for, for you know, for being frivolous and a waste of the court's time, and instead awarded two million naira fine, you know, to be paid to the APC from you know uh, from Article and Co. So that is the gist for today. <laughs> we, of course, we all know what hap what happened. The build up to today, you know, the courts did not even end there. Of course, we are all Nigerians. We know what is happening. In, in Nigeria, we know the boss in social media. We know what the social media was up to for today. How the social media was agog, you know, with all kinds of uh, innuendos, all kinds of allegations, insinuations, inundated with all that, and that that the APC and Bola Hamid Nimbu were planning to declare a public holiday for today so that the judge will not sit and deliver this judgment. Because if the judge does not sit to deliver this judgment, it, of course it means that by Monday it would have been too late because <laughs> that's, the, that's the handover, the swearing in the inauguration date. Then um, Tinubu would have been you know, inaugurated or sworn in as the 16th president of Nigeria. So <laughs> I don't know how they got that info in that they were planning the public holiday so that today would not come. And I asked, how in God's name were they supposed to know the judgment of the Supreme Court even before the judgment for them to be so sure that it was actually going to be in their favor? So the Supreme Court really warned politicians to, you know, that they shouldn't use the social media to um, twist them and also to intimidate the courts. Because of course they also go through social media. They have they have kids. They they live in Nigeria. They know what's. I mean, you we. I am sure that in the last couple of days, I'm sure that in the last couple of days we we're all aware of the social media. How the social media was inundated with all these allegations and then uh, how they were planning a public holiday for today, 26th May, and this Friday, so that the, the, the court would not see to pave way for their inauguration. And the court was like, politicians should desist from using the social media to um, twist or intimidate the courts. So that is, but the point I'm even trying to understand is how in God's name did these politicians, how did they even know that uh, um, the, uh, the, the judgment is going to be in their favor for them to say that okay, they we're planning to have a public holiday today so that when the court would not sit today, that would pave the way for um, you know, for the inauguration ceremony that's about to take place on Monday, which is 29 May 2023. How did they know that? You know, this is that 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 is the Nigerian politician for you. They have this sense of entitlement for goodness sake. How in God's name would you preempt the judgment of the Supreme Court for you to even begin to say if there's a public holiday today, and then that means on Monday, Timu would have been sworn in and it would have been too late. So what makes you think that if they if they sit today just like they sat today? And that the judgment will be in your favor. So that sense of entitlement, I do not really understand. But of course, that's Nigerian politicians for you. They can even tell you that they, in fact, they know, they know when the second coming of Jesus Christ. They know, so long as it suits their narrative, they can even convince you that they know the second coming of Jesus Christ and when 
Nigerian politicians. Nigerian politicians. You can't, you can't, in fact, the more you look, the less you see when it comes to Nigerian politicians. So that is the point. So at, at, at this point now, it's a done deal. The case is dismissed. The, the president-elect and his vice president-elect is a goal, just like they say here in Nigeria. So they're free to do their inauguration come Monday, uh, 29 May 2023. So that is just the brief gist for today. Why we look forward to Monday and see what Monday is going to bear. Of course, there are a lot of uh, intelligence reports that um, um, the um, DSS has uh, you know, dis discovered that they, uh, people are trying to truncate what is going to happen on. And the has warned, I don't know, how are they going to truncate? Swearing in, I don't understand. How are they going to come I mean, I was listening to one audio today that I, I listened to. I think I, put, I posted that on my short video today where someone was saying um, that, um, that God has ordained that um, if the president elect sits, uh, is eventually sworn in, and then, then the angel will, will take him out. That the angels will take him out. Can you imagine that? I don't want to bore you guys, but I just came here to give this, uh, yeah, I think this is breaking news, yeah, breaking news. So, I'll see you guys on Monday during the inauguration while I'm going to stream live, so stay tuned. This is where I draw the curtain for today. Thank you for finding the time to watch my video. If you like the content of this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Strike on that notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever I upload a content like this. Leave your comment down below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. See you pretty soon. Meanwhile, remain awesome until I come your way again. Cheers. Ciao.